Satch. Welcome to your weekly forecast for August 20th until 27th. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way this week. And I'll be doing your general finances, health, love oracle, and messages from the Archangels. All right. Okay. Oh, thank God. It's only like less than two weeks and uh, well no actually it's around two weeks and the road for good should go direct and around the 19th it should be over I'm sure I'm not just the only one who is wishing for the retrograde to be over especially for the earth signs You know, Sag, you feel so victorious right now, financially. I feel like you've been, like, racking a lot of deals and uh, closing a lot of client negotiations and contracts and stuff. But you know what? You need to keep your feet on the ground. Because I feel like... Don't just keep on saying yes to your clients, because don't make any prior commitments while there is still some other outstanding stuff okay be realistic with your time management and be a little bit more organized otherwise it's it'll be hard for you to entangle all of this confusion later on now let's take a look at your careers and finances You know, I need to pull out more clarifications for this. Another thing here is, again, with this fire sign that's been stalking you and keep on getting in touch with you, trying to test you if you're going to give in. I feel like you need to have some clear boundaries about what do you really want to achieve and where do you really want to go from here. All right. Someone around you is kind of having some, either it's a rare disease or having some severe pro health problems. And by the way, you are for a tail right now, Sag. If you want to get the, if you want to get pregnant, this is the right time and the perfect time for it. All right. <laughs> As I've said, financially, you've been like racking a lot of clients, negotiations, projects, payments, and stuff like that. So, of course, you feel like you feel a little bit, you know, victorious and um, macho at this moment. But, you know, be more humble, even if you're having a lot of, you know, success and a lot of good deals that you've been like uh, taking home and, you know, with a big smile on your face because unlike for the past few months that it's been really like lethargic and empty and um, everything seems a little bit uncertain so it seems like this retrograde is uh, benefiting you but still keep your feet on the ground okay don't let your success fill up your ego and don't let your ego ruin you now the only thing here that I can see is that your mode of communications. As I've said, try to keep your feet on the ground, be more humble, and don't feel like you are, you know, way, way, way above others. Because this is the only thing that will be like, uh, that will be ruining you and ruining what you're, what you're starting right now. So, not because that you're achieving something means that it can be continuous or it can be like, you know, you already have the right to be so braggy or manipulate others or to boss around other people. Still, you have to know where do you really stand and where you're placed at. 
Okay. Because the tides could change. Now, emotionally, you feel a little bit dismissive right now. Because you feel like you can. You feel like a superman right now. Okay? But. There is somebody that you need to walk away from. Somebody's been like trying to catch up with you, and this person's from the past. You know that this person never served you anything or did not even serve you well in the past, but you are letting this person have a space in your time and in your life, even though you're already in a relationship. Now, I feel like it's time for you to really let this person go and cut it off. Whatever it takes. Don't play like don't play safe just because that you feel a little bit uncertain sometimes in your relationship. Because come to think of it, if your partner really wants to walk away from you or will walk away from you, that should have happened long time ago. When your relationship was a little bit rocky. But why do you feel like right now you're still, you know, you're growing even more stronger and solid? So you don't really have to have any reserve or you don't have to have any spare tire. Okay? Because this will just create a big crack in your relationship whereas this person have already started something in the past. So don't let this person have a space in your life or in your lives and in your relationship. Because anytime soon, the time you know the tides could change it could turn up against you and not in favor of you now when it comes to your careers and finances you're a little bit worried there are a lot of things that you've been like thinking a lot about one is there is somebody around you has been like demanding for a full responsibility or taking responsibility or being obliged to someone else's welfare this is not your obligation and this is not your let's say responsibility you can help but this is not your entire responsibility so don't really buy this people's manipulation and emotional blackmailing towards you all right now from what i can see here you've already like you're just starting everything's still green so there's people around you that's been like demanding for whatever it is that you have to give or provide to them. They're just merely envious and jealous of you. And you know that. You're very sensitive. You're very intuitive. You know that to yourself. So why would you let these people, you know, affect you and whatever they've been saying? Concentrate on your solid ground and concentrate in solidifying your foundation. Keep on working. Keep on focusing on your work, especially for those, you know, stay away from people who's just bringing you dramas into your life because you don't actually need it. Now... You know, also be careful with the way you behave towards your partner. <sighs> because I feel like this whole thing that's been going on in your career, it will be affecting your relationship majorly. Especially with the way you behave and the way you deal with things. It seems like you are going through some power struggle, power clashes, and it's like, both of you wants to act like bosses okay now this relationship will not work out if the two of you will act both all high and mighty someone needs to go down someone needs to go up and vice versa as i've said that you have to know where you really stand and don't change things just because that you already feel so successful because anytime soon this could change this is too early for you to to rejoice and to celebrate okay and mind you that you've already lost a lot of opportunities even in the past because of your attitude so this time it's time for you to act maturely grow up because you can do it 
you can be a better person yourself and even if you are Sagittarius you you know you still have your moon rising and the uh, others ascending so you can change it and you can do it you're you're optimistic anyway now when it comes to your health someone around you has a very like dire disease or illness and I feel like you need to grab on some you know some more of your faith and you need to have more belief but it's been a while okay the health issues that I'm seeing here is not about your physical health but about your spiritual health and your faith your belief now you'll also be experiencing some pain in your chest and your side at the back and uh, you will also feel a little bit nauseous plus take a look or take um, you need to like pay attention to your ankle or to your to your hind leg to your lower leg and to your feet because I feel like there's been like swelling that's already building up but i feel like you're not really paying attention to it it's because of your kidney okay now you also need to follow some signs and notice some symptoms and it's time for you to go to the doctor and i feel like you're gonna get well just don't take too much strong medicine now things will be getting a little bit bigger and i feel like you'll be a little bit more active sexually this end of the week and you will be so irritated if you don't really get what you want especially by releasing it and if you're trying to get pregnant this is the perfect timing for you to get pregnant because you will be so fertile for the next two weeks now let's take a look at your love oracle and messages from the archangels I'm sorry, I dropped one card. You need to fix your mode of communications to others. Try to have some... Uh, one is humility and humbleness. Okay, single Sag. You know, if there is somebody who's going to come back to you or who wants to come back to you, especially the one who used that you used to be married to. For you, you feel like this is the one and you still have feelings for this. So if you don't want to ruin the relationship that you have right now, try to check out with yourself what is it that you really want. And who it is that you really want to be with and that you really love. If you, if you want to ask for forgiveness, be sincere with it. Now, you also need to forgive and learn. There are some people around you, especially relatives, that you have to reach out to and you have to learn how to forgive. But that doesn't mean that you will be opening up your doors to them. Forgive and then move on. Leave it all behind. You also need to be a little bit more like whisk it off. Okay, you're already losing your sense of fun and uh, adventure, excitement, and thrill because you are too uptight and too serious. Not because that you feel so successful right now, you have the right to act like a boss. Okay, now the one that you used to be married to or the one that you used to be domesticated or somebody that you used to be with wants to come back into your life and you're thinking that maybe this is really the one because this person keeps on coming back into my life, but it's wrong. 
the reason why this person keeps on coming back into your life because it's because that you haven't really closed down the door you are trying to keep it open and retaining it to be open just in case that something happens or you know your relationship falters then at least there is somebody that you can let in okay now you need to keep an open mind and you need to make the right choice you need to make <clears throat> you need to make a decision real soon otherwise the person around you will be moving away let go of control issues you need to ask for some healthy advices from positive people and not just from any other friends who are just very envious of what you're having right now And also check out your attraction. I hope that you're not going to be breaking your vows and your promise to this person that you're with. Otherwise, you're going to be losing it big time. Now, as for your Archangel, Six or Raphael, embrace your inner child. New friends are rekindled relationships, children or childhood. Now, Queen of Raphael, follow your heart, love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. Now, Ten of Ariel, there's so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and a promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. Now, the Three of Michael, release the past. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. See? You need to release the past. King of Ariel, your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success, using resources wisely. Now there are actually two people that's been coming in that wants to come back into your life. And they I feel like um, it's time for you to draw the line. That it's a water sign and a fire sign. Now Ace of Ariel, it's your lucky day. Your resources of money, time, or support, a change in job or a promotion. Now, page of Raphael, a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships, or social invitations, great intuitive insights. Now, the Empress, time to act upon your plans, creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Now, Ten of Gabriel, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. This are the relatives that's been trying to blackmail you emotionally. Don't let them get through to you. All right. Anyway, that's it for you for this week's Sagittarius. And if you want to have your own personalized readings, go and visit me at my website. It's afeangel.net. You may talk to me live on the phone or live video call and pre-recorded readings. Fill up the form right after the, making the payment and submit it so that, you know, we'll avoid further delays in delivering your your emails and if ever that I'm not available goddess of light will be there to share her insight with you so blessings to you and have a great week